Hi guys, this is Constance with Compose a Rabbit Hole. Um, I am just going to walk you through how to calibrate your machine, your Cricut Imagine machine. Um, I'm going to do this because it always kind of confuses me and I always forget that there are steps to do. And when I first got it, I was really confused about how to do this. And um, I didn't know what I was doing. And you know, there's always steps that it always forgets to tell you. Anyway, so I've already calibrated the print ads which I've turned the paper sideways. It doesn't really matter. All you're going to need is this little line up here. And I actually have to turn it a different way because I've already done this once. I'm going to do it again for the sake of this video. I mean, you notice uh, these Imagine mats, they are not very sticky at all. At all, actually. But for some reason in the Imagine machine, it works just fine. I mean, these mats, like I can bend this mat and the paper comes up off the page. But when it's in the machine, I have no problem with it staying as long as it's uh, bigger than a six inch piece of paper. Um, I have ran it with smaller pieces as long as they were towards the middle of the mat and not towards the edge. I found that it was going to be perfectly okay. Okay, now for as much as I move my machine, because every time you move your machine and pick it up, like I keep mine over in a, cor um, over in a storage place and then I move it to this table every time I need to use it, because this thing is huge. Like it's the double the size of the expression and you still have to have the 12 inches behind for it to come out and the 12 inches in front for it to come out. So, I don't ever use that thing, but that's there for it to come out in. Um, but, for as much as you have to use it, you have to use a lot of white cardstock. So, this is a color block cardstock thing. Whole 40 sheets was $5. And, um, which is not bad for white cardstock, um, because it beats buying it sheet by sheet. And when you have the Imagine, everything you pretty much do is on white cardstock. So I found that that's the cheapest thing for me that I found right now. If y'all have any other cheaper ways or cheaper versions, please let me know because um, I'm a full-time student and this is just a hobby. Uh, so I don't really have very much income coming in. Okay, so this machine, I found that you actually, this little arrow, you can't flip it around like you can the um, other mat in the Cricut Expression because if you do you, you will hear this weird funky noise and the paper moves and all that kind of stuff so always put it in with the arrow forward it's the only way this mat can go in for some reason and these mats do work in the Cricut Expression but uh, for some reason with the Expression the paper won't stick like it will on the Imagine I guess it's the rollers or something okay so what we're going to do is we are going to calibrate this machine so I've already done the print blade thing which is what you saw and you can actually go over this doesn't really make a difference as long as you can tell. So we're going to calibrate our blade. So it's going to say, put a 12 by 12 piece of paper on the mat, insert the machine, and apply light pressure to the mat while pressing start calibration. So we're going to put the mat in the machine, click start calibration, apply light pressure. So it says, continue to apply light pressure to the mat until it is pulled into the machine. When the calibration, printing, and cutting is complete, do not remove the mat from the machine. When they say do not remove, you do not remove because if you do remove the mat, you're going to mess up your calibration. And I made that mistake two and three times. And then there's another step on there that it doesn't tell you to do, but there's an extra button for it. And I always forget to push it every time I calibrate my machine. So I'm going to walk y'all through that just so y'all know exactly how to do it. See, I mean, even now the paper's coming up off the thing, but it's going to stay and it's not going to move and it's going to stick just fine. So. Yeah, here's the machine size, if y'all haven't seen this. I mean, this, this, this sucker is huge. Really big. So. And this only takes a couple of more seconds to do. Okay, so it's almost finished cutting the um, print lines on there. And it's going to feed it through the bottom thing and come out the rollers. Now, if you have not been told this, if you can imagine, you cannot, no matter if you're just plain Jane cutting or not, you cannot put the mat underneath the rollers. It always has to go on top right here. And this thing moves up and down for when you print and cut by itself. You never have to move it. But it always goes above the rollers and never below. Okay, so you see it cut out. There's my print thing. You see you cut out this, this design and these two little brackets. And then it printed all those little lines coming down the side. So what it's about to do now is it's about to cut on those lines. The 
whole point of this is so you can actually look at each line, and each machine's going to be a little different. Um, mine changes from one to the other depending on when I do it. Okay, so um, each one of these lines has a little cut through it. Okay, and whatever your machine is, you're just going to have a different one than none. Okay, so it says select the number and letter, a line, and letter which the print head and the lines are best aligned, and t press the test cut button. Okay, so mine is the 11, mine's going to be J, and it looks like Mine's going to be on the 9 this time. So last time I did it, it was on the 10, and now it's going to be on the 9. So, okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to press the test cut button. And it's going to test cut it. Okay, now all I have to do is make sure that it's aligned, and of course it's not. So I guess it's just messed up on there. So I'm going to go back to... I know that's J. So we're going to test cut again. Because I can't I can't do it. The printhead things were in the way this time. Normally they're not. Okay, so this time it is I'm trying to find out where it's at on this thing. Uh no. So we're going back to the K. Test cut. And it's normally easier than this. I'm just having a hard time because those stupid print heads got in the way. Okay, it looks fine to me, so I'm going to come up here and click accept. And it prints, pulls your thing out. And that's it. Okay, guys, thanks.